Good morning, everyone. It is six in the morning. I'm about to let Millie out for her first pee of the day. She's very excited and I gotta go where she pees on the floor because I know she really has to go. But good morning. Happy 6 a.m. This is my new wake up time. Look at the little tail. <laughs> I let Millie out. She did her morning pee and double poop. She does two poos, sometimes two peas. And Millie eats at seven, so right now I'm just making myself a coffee. Well, I made one. <laughs> a coffee and a piece of toast. I'm not super hungry at six in the morning, to be honest. I don't really have an appetite, but Millie does have a slight amount of dominance in her just from her behaviors and stuff, so I do feed myself first, just so she knows who the boss is. It's an easy way to show your dog who is the more dominant one in the household is eating first because pack mentality, the leader of the pack eats first. So I just make myself a piece of toast to nibble on before I feed her at seven, just to kind of, you know, lay the groundwork. She's very good. It's just slight, slight things that she's done that I'm like, mm, I see you and I know you're gonna test your spot in this leaderboard, which apparently I've heard that a lot of corgis do because they're so smart is test their, um, like who's the dominant one in the household. And Millie girl, it's, I don't know what to tell you, but it's always gonna be me. It always was me, it always will be me. <laughs> but she's really good. I also have some really great apartment updates to show you guys. Aiden and my mom were here yesterday. I was gonna vlog yesterday. Oh, oh Millie gets a treat. Millie went in her crate by herself. She gets a treat. So she's probably gonna run out the minute I, yep, I thought so. That's another thing with the crate training. Putting treats in the cage to get them to go in the crate. And then if you ever catch them in there by themselves, give them a treat. In, all the way in, all the way in. Come on, all the way. She's like, I, I know what you're doing. Yes, good girl. Great training. Her new crate should come this week, though she likes this one. Um, but we'll see. The new one's coming. The little bigger one's coming. You're gonna get your breakfast soon. You're gonna get your breakfast soon. Then we have to give you your deworming medicine, which you're gonna hate. But I finally have a desk in my apartment. Eee, my little office area is like finally set up. I'm so excited about it. I also have a bedside lamps. So I do have bedside lamps. I just don't have light bulbs. So that's another goal for today is to go find light bulbs because I seriously have no idea where to get them. So I need to find the light bulbs for the lamps, set those up, and then I seem to get the finishing stuff for Millie's puppy school tomorrow because she starts tomorrow and there's like a couple things that I still need for it. Um, but yeah, good morning. It's like, I can't believe I'm, I'm up this early. It's my new routine. It's like 5.30 or 6 a.m. every day. Honestly, she doesn't even wake me up. I just, I know she has to go to the bathroom really badly, so I wake up. She's like the perfect dog overnight. It's insane. She just is silent and sleeps. I'm like, I've never seen a puppy so well behaved at nighttime in my life. All right, it is later. I'm sorry for the wind if you can hear me. Hopefully this little fuzzy thing on top of my camera actually works like it's supposed to but I'm just going to run some errands now. Typical Monday for me. Also this hair, I do it in a clip, but I feel like I always look like I have no hair. <laughs> but I'm just heading out. I'm gonna get a couple groceries, get some stuff for Millie, and I wanna try and find light bulbs for my lamps because having side lamps in my bedroom is gonna be the biggest game changer of all time. So I'm gonna look for those and get all the stuff I need. This is my outfit for today. Sweater is Revolve. Jacket is Zara, jeans are Zara, white sneakers. It's freezing. I could have worn a warmer jacket for sure, but let's go run the errands. <laughs> I got the groceries. I got Millie's things. Now I'm gonna try and walk over to Home Hardware and hopefully maybe they sell light bulbs 
I need like a specific one, which is has, you know, they, they gotta make my life difficult, right? It only takes one kind of light bulb, so. I might look, otherwise I'll probably just order them on Amazon. We're doing good, making good time. I don't wanna leave Millie for too long. She has to go to the bathroom, so. I'm just gonna go do this and then head back, let her out and make lunch. I just got myself some like really quick and easy things to eat for lunch because now with Millie and the potty training, I feel like I'm rushed all the time. So, one of those. All right guys, I'm back. My hair, this turtleneck neck and that hair is just not a vibe. I'm gonna put all the food away that I got because I need to do that. And yeah, so much stuff. I have to book, I booked a freaking thing to get my car serviced. Like, so much going on. Got these light bulbs, hopefully they'll work. <laughs> we'll find out. Got Millie some more toys. She has this one, oops. Which I don't know if she'll like, but I thought it was fun. Hey, Mel! I think Millie doesn't have the base appetite today, probably from getting her vaccines and like all that stuff. She's not really her regular hungry ass self. She's also getting dewormed right now, so she's not like being as hungry as she normally is. Millie, Millie, what's this? What is this toy? What is this? Woo! What is that? What is that toy? So I just got her some bully sticks and then two more Kongs to like stuff with peanut butter and whatnot for her. And then I gotta put all this away. Also got some carrots, cause I saw something about freezing carrots and giving them to dogs as a treat when they're like teething and that they like them. So I'm gonna peel these, put these in the freezer and just see if she likes it. And then for me, just some pre-boiled eggs. I'm always in a rush now. I was like, those could be good. Frozen fruit. All that stuff. I'm gonna put all this stuff away now because I got so much to, to put away and I wanna see if these light bulbs work. And I gotta eat lunch. This is a hectic Monday, guys. Oh my God, I broke the box. Well, that's not good for a return policy. <laughs> Maybe I should have cut the label. Yeah, I wanna see if these light bulbs work first things first because I'm curious. They look quite big though. Guys, I am so happy. I finally have lamps. Look, look at this. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I have lamps, best news ever. Besides, one, Millie loves her bully stick. And, um, I'm sorry, an office space? Yeah, me and Aiden built this desk yesterday. Thank God he came and helped me because it was rather confusing, but it's all built. It has like a top drawer, a little cabinet down there. Perfect size for this area. I put my calendar up on the wall, so I'm all organized, just the best. Very happy to have an actual office space now in space that I can work. Millie is not allowed in that area. <laughs> but yeah, big updates to my apartment. So feeling very happy. I'm gonna eat some lunch now though and boil some chicken for Millie's training class tomorrow because gotta get prepared for that. And I'm happy she's liking these bully sticks because I know she wants to chew. Just making sure that I watch her at all times when she's having it. But I know that it doesn't like break off, it like dissolves, that's what the lady at the store told me, so it should be okay for puppies, but yeah. Guys, just look at me, about to work in my new office space. Stunning, beautiful calendar, lots of desk space, love it. This desk is from StruckTube. Honestly, it's pretty nice. I don't hate it at all, has everything that I need. Yeah, I'm really excited to actually just have like a nice spot to sit and edit because editing at my counter was hurting my back and editing at the couch just doesn't feel right. So this is just amazing. But I'm gonna do a bit of editing while Millie naps. Today is just the day of packages. I've gotten so much things delivered, but I did do a big Amazon order. So all that stuff delivered. First off, we have Millie's new little pet treat bag thing that has treats in it. It's got a poop bag dispenser in the back and you can put your phone in here. It also came with a clicker, which is nice. So I'm thinking I'm getting one after pet thing tomorrow. And a little collapsible dog bowl, which is great for bringing water on the go if you take them anywhere with you. So I have all that stuff. I also got her a new, just very simple leash for training. This is just easier for me than a fancy one, <laughs> especially for right now when she's in training mode. 
This is a snuffle mat. So basically you can hide treats and food in this and they have to use their nose to sniff out the pieces. Really cute. I also just got a new umbrella because mine exploded in the rain. This little chili penguin freezeable treat holder for dogs. So basically I'm gonna stuff this with like treats and peanut butter and then you just freeze it, just an extra one. She's very into treats, She's very food motivated. Hey Mills, you're taking your crate now, right? Cause we love the crate. Yes, we do, we love it. I also got this delivery from Loops. They're like a face mask brand. They sent me a bunch of them. So excited to do some self care with those. Definitely need some self care in my life. Very excited about that. <laughs> but it's just cool to have all of this stuff here for training in this bag. I think will make it really easy for when I take her on walks. I can just strap this on and I have everything that I need. And I actually need one of these for the training class because we are we have to use one. So have that. The stuff on that is so cute. And yeah, just my counter is looking like an absolute disaster, but I'm gonna go let Millie out for another pee pee. She's been napping now for like two hours. She's probably now for longer, but like look at her. The epitome of comfort, eh hey, Mills? You're the epitome of comfort, honey. Look at you. Look at this baby. Hi, baby. Are you, oh, you love the crate. You don't even care to come out. You don't even rush out. You're just chilling. You're just chilling like a villain. Comfy girl. Hopefully your bigger crate will come soon. This one's a little bit small, but PetSmart's delivery is very slow, apparently. You're a good girl. You wanna go for a pee? No, you just chillaxing? Relaxing? I know your tummy is upset from your meds, eh? I have an animal documentary on, but guys, look at these little chicken legs. What are these little legs? A little chicken. Look at you, you good girl. Millie doesn't feel good today because of her deworming. Your tummy is upset, isn't it? She doesn't have an appetite. Poor baby. I'm watching a documentary on baby animals because I'm obsessed with baby animals. Clearly. Oh, guys, I've had a stressful day just because Millie's been a bit under the weather, I think, from her deworming medication. She didn't want to eat her food. She went from literally being like the most food oriented dog ever to not wanting anything, like no treats, no kibble, not even peanut butter. I was like, oh my God. So I called the vet and they were like, just give her some chicken and rice to entice her and let us know if she's still not wanting to eat after like 24 hours. So I made her some of this plain chicken and rice and I mixed some kibble in it and she ate like some. So she's doing okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get into the routine now of like having a dog. It's been a hectic freaking how many days with you? Not even a week yet. Not even a week. Not even a week, Mel. And it's been hectic. So much stuff. November is just like her yawn is the cutest thing I've ever heard, by the way. She's like, eh. <laughs> November is just so busy for me. Like, I feel like November is the most stressful month, like more stressful than December for me because in November, I freaking buy all my presents. I have to like do so much stuff. Usually it's super busy with work because everybody like content wise with brands, there's always a lot of sponsorships in November leading into December. And it's just hectic. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's baby? Where are you going? Are you trying to get comfy? Oh. Like, look at this. Little fox. Oh, my goodness.
Guys, with just this part on, I literally look like a superhero. I just need like a cape. I kind of even don't want to apply the bottom part. This is like really cool and I'm like, this feels really nice. So this is the relax, like the bedtime sheet mask from Loops. And it's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna, should I do the mouth part? Like, I don't know, I'm drinking a tea. I'm like, I kind of just want to do the eyes. Actually, you know what? This isn't that bad. I love that they're separated because I feel like you can get a better fit on your face that way for us small faced gals. Because I can put it up a bit higher, like layer them. Wow, this is the best fitting face mask on me I've ever had. It feels so cooling. I, I'm going to just get a crop out of Millie. She's going to see this and be like, what the hell? happened to my owner, she looks insane. But this feels really nice and I needed this today. <laughs> I needed this face mask. <laughs> so thank you Loops for sending this to me because I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Self-care Mondays, y'all, self-care Mondays. Should we see little Millie's reaction? I think she went back under the couch. She did. Okay, well, reaction postponed till another day. All right, guys, I just wanted to come on here to end off today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in my next video. Millie's over there, sleeping in the dog bed. <laughs> Bye.